Presented to you by Your Productions is going to be a very special item. Prepare yourself to be amazed by outdated technology. Presented to you with your little friend, Your. Here are some floppy disks. Hi! It's, it, it's your, and here are some floppy disks. Your, I like to use floppy disks to store my data. Your, your, a floppy disk, floppy disk, your. Don't make me come over there now. Okay, your, come on, your. Don't make me come over there. Come on, your, come on, your. Yeah, your No, your No, oh, your Oh, your No, no. Don't track me away. No. Oh. Enough with little your. This is your fellow arch nemesis the cassette master coming back yet at you again. And today we will be presenting to you Vintage by today's standards, a magnetic recording device capable of recording video, audio, and still pictures. It records onto floppy disks. This is a Sony Mavica digital camera model MVC-FD85. Likely from the year 2000. This particular device is still in working condition and can be used to take digital photos as well as small movie clips maximizing at 15 seconds. That's right, not very much can be done to this thing by today's standards, but in its day, of course. It was cutting edge technology. This is a back view of the digital camera. Let's go ahead and energize the device after removing the lens cap. It's plugged into a charger at this point, supplying it with 8.4 volts DC. And you can see the little device is turned on, powering up no disk. So the next thing we'll have to do is insert a floppy into the device. You gotta love floppy disks. I'll tell you that much. We'll get that nostalgia going. Remember the old days. Okay. So here is a two megabyte Primaris floppy disks. But really, <laughs> there it says 1.44 megabyte, but that's the usual size of a floppy. First, we'll see if this floppy is even any good. So, right now, you might think at first that the disk is full. You see it's flashing and it says zero. No. The number there is to show how many uh, pictures or videos are stored on the disk presently. And right now there is nothing on the disk, for the disk is blank. Let's switch it to picture mode. Distill. And notice it's a solid zero. Now, one can take a picture with this camera. How about a picture of your? If he's a little blurry, you can turn on the macro. Pressing the focus button will enable the macro. Oop, flash was on. Now notice, you'll see it says 1, 
and a little part is chopped up out of the disc. The reason why it does not say how many pictures you have to take left is you can, you can already see that one eighth of the disc has been taken up by just one measly photo. Let's turn the flash off. Turn on flash. Let's take another, another shot of our little friend here. There we go. There's a good shot of your. Already, a quarter of the disc has been taken up by just taking two measly photos. Now we can go to play mode where we can review the photos we have taken. To go look at the other, we go to our menu, index, and then we can go and select the other photo. The overflashed picture of our little friend Yor. Oh, there we go. Now I can go back and forth. Put to index mode. There we go. There's Yor. Let's show some of these operations in a more clear manner. Here are the, ba the basic operations. Now I'm not a camera aficionado, so I can't show you all that stuff, but the basics are. This button will do your flash, not flash, and something with an eye, an eye looking thing. This is your macro as well as other focus modes. I haven't done anything with program. What does it do? I don't know. See, I just got this camera today from work. So. Eh, the display here. Or you can go into your menu, you can go up on the little thing there, and your camera, you got your various settings here. Setup, language, even video out. This has a composite video out as well as monophonics audio. Record mode, and you got, uh, there's a voice setting which allows you to uh, make a very short, few second long voice recording whenever you take a picture. Um, that's how it records the voice. Image size, maximum resolution is 1280 by 960. This is a 1.3 megapixel device. Uses a 1.3 megapixel charge coupled device or CCD and of course different file numbers and you need to even format your floppy disk. Effects is the typical effects you would find on many of the Sony cameras you have your negative art, you have your others like sepia, black and white, and solarized. This also boasts the ability to take short movies up to a maximum of 15 seconds. And of course you'll take one, fi one 15 second movie and you're going to be using up the rest of that floppy disk, thank you very much. And if you've already taken a few pictures, don't try making any movies because it might not get saved because that floppy doesn't have hardly any space left. How about I record all of you viewers out there watching this video? You'll finally get to see what you actually look like. You may think you look human, but you'll have to think again after you see this video. This is what you viewers look like, okay? Shooting on floppy disk. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. I had to make that quick. It's still recording. Turn off. See, I tried pushing the thing again and it kept going. I think it's not making the best connection every time. Let's hope that that file survived. Disk full. You can see it's blinking the floppy disk there. So anyway, this is a little camera here. Uh, pretty basic, you know, when, by today's standards. You can't do too much with it by today's standards. Although it boasts the possibility of getting a um, memory, it says memory stick compatible with an optional floppy disk adapter. Well, floppy disk adapter, good luck. But anyway, 
So we're going to take our floppy disk out. You can even take the thing out while it's still on. It doesn't mess anything up, it just has no disk. I imagine, in the, you know, back in its day, people would have to, um, say they went on a road trip and they wanted to take some nice pictures, you know. They would have to take a whole bunch of floppy disks with them. Because they'd be taking less pictures on floppy than they would on a roll of film. Anyway, so that is a short showing of the most basicest of operation of this camera. I haven't had it plugged in for very long, but one would wonder if the lithium battery is charged up to any degree. And it will not turn on at this point, so either the lithium battery is no good or it hasn't been charging for long enough. We'll charge it, plug it back in, and see if we'll have any luck with that. My computer being too modern to have a built-in floppy drive is hooked up to an external floppy drive where we can, oh my goodness, there's already one in there read the pictorial information off of the floppy and load it onto the computer the pictures and video footage, if the video footage survived I took, as well as early pic earlier pictures and videos that I took, will be put into this video for your viewing pleasure. This is what you viewers look like, okay? Shooting on floppy disk. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. I had to make that quick. It's still recording. Okay. So apparently this is going to only take five seconds of movies. Hello, this is me, your fellow host, the Cassette Master, videoing on floppy disk. I hope you enjoy this video. Fifteen seconds. What can I say, oh, what can I say, oh, what can I say? Seven twenty-four, my clock is good, it's crazy. I hope you enjoyed this video of the floppy disk based Sony Mavica digital floppy disk based, oh that was redundant, camera. Presented to you by Your Productions. Your! That's right! A Your Production! Your!